Welcome back to Siren Flies. I'm happy to say that we're tying my devil's leech pattern today. The first thing we have to do is prepare our hooks. I do these in bulk and we'll begin by wrapping 10 wraps of 0 .030 lead wire up the hook. That's a medium or five millimeter cone that's already on the hook. And now remember that if you're going to cut wire with scissors to have a dedicated pair for that purpose so you don't mess up your good scissors. Now I'm just going to kind of arrange the wire by hand to just make sure everything lines up the way I want it. And now I'm going to add a little dot of super glue. The gel super glue is what you're better off using for this. And now I'm going to slide those together. And what this is doing is just positioning quickly the cone head and the lead for before I add the final adhesive for long-term drying. So now I'm going to take a glob of liquid fusion and add that behind the cone. And the reason I use this glue is because it's water-based and loses a lot of its volume as it dries. And so what it'll do is sink into the gap between the cone and the lead, and then I c it will fill that, but not create a glob on top of the lead, which is important for building a good-looking body in this fly. Um, then I'll just take that and hang it up. Now I've got a hook that I prepared yesterday, and we'll go ahead and start tying our fly on that. First, we'll take a 1.5 millimeter long rabbit zonker and pierce the hide and slide it up the hook. And now we can attach our thread. This is UTC 140 thread in black. And now I'll take and basically just put a couple wraps on that tag end of the zonker and tighten it up and align it so that it's sitting what would be level with the bottom of the fly. Next I'll cut a single strand of purple flashaboo in half. And then I'll take that flash boot and slide it under my last wrap of thread so that I'll be binding the flash boot in the middle of the fiber. I'll take a wrap over that and then fold it over itself and wrap several times backwards to position it below what will ultimately be the bottom of the zonker strip. Next we can tie in our ultra chenille. And I tie this in back behind the lead wraps to try and help even out the overall body taper. And after experimenting with this fly with guides, it became apparent that the easiest way to increase its durability was a simple layer of super glue over the micro chenille. And this significantly extended the overall lifetime of the fly. Um, in particular, a lot of times this fly is banged against rocks, and so this helps with the longevity. So we'll just wrap our ultra chenille forward and I'll wrap up to but the cone but I won't pack the ultra chenille right behind the cone. I want a little bit of a gap there so that when we veil our laser dub over this part of the fly there's actually a gap that the thread can pull the laser dub into. So now I'll preen some laser dub just aligning the fibers so that I have as few losses of fiber as possible. And so now I'll roll the whole bunch over the head of the fly, take a thread wrapper two, three in this case, and pull that into that gap. And now I'll add a couple more wraps to the front to lock it in completely, and then whip finish. And we'll cut our thread off, and now we'll take some Sally Hansen's and go ahead and try and get that into the gap 
behind the cone to just make sure that that thread has a little bit of adhesive on it and to protect our wraps. And I'll just wipe off by hand any kind of excess that happens to get on the cone. And finally, I'll take a flea comb and comb out any excess fibers. I don't want any fibers getting left in the river that don't have to be. All right, that's the Devil's River Leech. Thanks for watching, and remember to check out sirenflies.com. Have a good one.